Amr bin Abasa Solami radiyallahu anhu states During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance I would surmise that the people were led astray and they had got no worth they all worshiped idols I heard about a person who lived in Makkah Mukarrama and narrated many pieces of news so I mounted a mount and entered his presence to see him hiding himself and his people showing effrontery to him I then playing a ruse reached him in Makkah Mukarrama and asked who are you he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said I am a prophet I asked what is a prophet he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah jalla jalaluhu has dispatched me I asked with which message has Allah jalla jalaluhu dispatched you he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah jalla jalaluhu has sent me with the message of reinforcing the bonds of kinship smashing the idols and not associating any partner with Allah jalla jalaluhu I asked who is supporting you in this cause he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the free people as well as slaves the reporter said in those days amongst the believers hazrat abu bakr and hazrat bilal radiyallahu anhu were with him hazrat amr says that he submitted undoubtedly i will follow you he sallallahu alaihi wasallam thereupon said you cannot afford it right now do not you see how the people are treating me now go back your home however when you hear my super mercy you should join me hazrat amr radiyallahu anhu says i went back home and allah's apostle sallallahu alaihi wasallam emigrated to madina munawwara i remained at home and gathered information about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the people after his arrival in madina munawwara at last some people came to me from madina munawwara and i asked them how is he who has got in madina munawwara they replied the people are accepting his invitation hastily his people wished to assassinate him but they could not do so i then visited him and submitted o allah the posel sallallahu alaihi wasallam do you recognize me he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you are the one who came to see me in makkah mukarrama i replied yes i then submitted o allah's prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tell me what allah jalla jalaluhu has told you and what i do not know tell me about prayer he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said perform the morning prayer and do not perform any prayer after it until the sun rises high up for the sun rises in between the two horns of the saturn and the infidels prostrate themselves before him at that time thereafter perform the prayer for the angels attend and bear witness to this prayer until the shadow gets equal to a lens so stop performing prayer because at this time hell is heated up then when the sun descends perform the asr prayer for the angels attend and give witness at that time then stop performing the prayer until the sun sets for the sun sets in between the two horns of the saturn and the infidels prostrate themselves before him at that time i submitted o allah the puzzle sallallahu alaihi wasallam tell me about ablution he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whosoever of you performs ablution goggles snuffs water up in the nose rinses the nose intending reward allah jalla jalaluhu removes the sins of his face mouth and nostrils then when he washes his face as per allah's commands the sins of his face shed with water from the sides of his beard then when he washes his arms including the elbows the sins of his hands shed with water from his finger tips then when he passes wet hand over his head the sins of his head falls out along with water from his hair ends and when he washes his feet including ankles the sins of his feet shed along with water from his toes then if he performs prayer standing and praising glorifying and exalting allah jalla jalaluhu as befits him and remains attentive whole heartedly to the worship of allah jalla jalaluhu he after the prayer will get purified from sins as if his mother has given a birth to him right now then hazrat amr bin abasar narrated this hadith to hazrat abu umama a companion of allah the puzzle sallallahu alaihi wasallam hazrat umama radiyallahu anhu whereupon said to him o amr bin abasa look what are you saying will a man be granted such a great reward only in one place hazrat amr bin abasa whereupon said o abu umama i have grown old 
my bones have become tender and my death has drawn near why should i affix falsehood to allah jalla jalaluhu and his apostle sallallahu alaihi wasallam if i had not heard this hadith two or three or even seven times i would never have narrated it but i have heard it more than seven times sahih muslim hadith number 1927